Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my review for the Boss Fight Studios Vitruvian Hacks Jousting Set, or Jousting Kit, I, sh I guess I should say, from the Kickstarter they recently had about a year and a half ago. Um, as you can, as you'll see, there is no real packaging for this, at least not from the Kickstarter I received. Um, this is just, uh, the contents inside a little baggie, and, uh, you basically see everything that's available in there. You get a shield, lance, um, lance handle. There's a helmet, which is actually a head, and a flag, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to open this up. We're going to have a look at the contents. I'm going to put them on a figure, and we'll see how they look properly displayed. Hopefully, I don't lose them in my terrain here, um, which would be very unfortunate. Let's actually angle the camera down a little bit. I'll utilize this space here to pour out the contents so I don't lose nothing. It came with this card. Let's see what the card is. I don't think the card is anything. I think it was just in there to help the, keep the shape of the bag. Yeah, there, there's nothing going on with the card. Just a single piece of uh, card stock. So anyhow, we have a lance, which is painted in two tones, gray and gold. Which is very nice. It's got a peg on the back there, which is used by this uh, lance handle. It just pegs right in there. Not too bad. Uh, as usual, the spikes on uh, these as well as other boss fight items are just as sharp as they look. So definitely not a kid's toy. Um, while I'm holding this, it comes with a flag, which you can peg onto the uh, lance, like so. And I believe that you could use this on a spear too. Looks to be about the same, uh, same diameter there, at least at the tip. So you could probably use this on the spear too. From the uh, uh, Spartans. If you have any of those from series one. Um, it has a helmet here, which I, I, I in particular am very interested in. And unfortunately this is not a helmet per se. It is actually a replacement head. I was kind of hoping it was a helmet, but I suppose it really doesn't matter that much. You have two options for the top. As you can see, there's a peg hole there. Um, there is a spike. I'm not going to peg it in on there all the way because I do have to uh, swap it out for the other thing for the sake of the video. But as you can see, you can put the spike in the top of the head there. And it will go all the way in. I'm just not pushing it all the way in right this second. Because I got to demonstrate this one. Get a crest on the top there. I think it's actually a little off center. Looks pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. I think I would definitely go with the spike though, personally. Uh, I think it does go all the way in. Yeah, there it is. A little off center there. Here we go. Pretty cool.
Let's see how that looks on the figure. Uh, for the sake of the review, I did pull out one of the uh, Asperity Knights. <sighs> looks pretty good on him. I do rather like that. Very nice. Um, it also comes with this shield, which is, uh, has a nice uh, detail on it, I like the gold trim and everything. Very nice finish on the gold. And being a customizer, uh, getting a good finish on gold is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, bend these out a little bit. They got rid of the uh, handle for the uh, figure of the hold, they just have the strap on this. Which is fine with me, since my figures usually just use the strap to begin with. The handle is nice, but it is kind of a pain to get it on the figure. He holds the shield pretty nice. And uh, let's get the lance in his hand. Bend his figures out a little bit. Angle up a little bit. There you are. Be holding that closer, I think. And do I have the right articulation on that particular wrist? believe I do yeah okay pretty cool pretty cool I like that very nice very nice the blues match up nicely as you can see with his uh, loincloth there Colors in general look very good together. Nice kit, I like it. And uh, last but not least, it does come with a figure stand. It's the standard boss fight figure stand in black with two foot pegs. Very cool kit, I like this a lot. A lot, it looks very good. And just because these are Mighty Steeds related reviews, let's get the Steed in there so you can actually see how they measure up together. I think that'll look very cool. Very cool. All right, so Gang, this has been AV. If you like this video, check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe. Please remember that um, this is just one of many um, Mighty Steeds videos that I have coming from the recent Kickstarter. Um, I just got the rewards in very recently. And uh, I know some people are still waiting for them. Hopefully that these videos will give them a good idea of what to expect as well as the other people who have pre-ordered or are still on the fence as to whether or not they want to order. That's why I'm filming these, to give you a basic idea of what it is that you can expect from this company. And, and for the most part, um, with very, very few exceptions, they have excellent stuff with, with no complaints from me at all. Um, you get what you pay for, and, and they're fantastic figures, especially if you like this scale. So, anyhow, this has been AV. Take care.